Welcome back to the Cool Fears channel. I'm your host, Jess of the Bad Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector, the information on the channel, stand for all collectors and not children. And welcome to episode two of Offer of Buys. So yeah, guys, we're testing out this series, seeing how it goes. The last video did pretty well, so I'm gonna upload video two, see how it does. This one was a surprise. I had a totally different product in mind uh, for episode two, but as it always is, I'm scrolling on Offer like I really shouldn't be and this figure popped up and it's something that's a little different something that may not appeal to everybody in this community but it's something that's near and dear to my heart and that is the Ender Bay 1-6 scale Black Mamba Kobe Bryant figure so growing up being from LA Kobe was always a big part of my life I grew up playing basketball and even after I finished playing basketball I continued to utilize his Mamba mentality, uh, you know, in order to be better at, at bodybuilding, at life itself, you know, that Mamba mentality can just be applied to just life in general and stuff. So um, I'm not gonna lie, I took it really hard, uh, you know, when he did pass away. Uh, I thought it was a cruel joke that people were playing online and uh, unfortunately it was not. Uh, so being able to have a physical representation in one six form in my collection of somebody that I've looked up to, uh, you know, is something that I'm very much looking forward to. And on top of it, I got it for an amazing price. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Alright guys, so we have the cash, now it's time to go pick it up. So a little about this product. So this was released, I believe, a little after his untimely passing. Um, I believe it even retailed for $3.99, guys. And I still haven't told you guys what price I'm paying, but so it retailed for $3.99 on eBay and secondary market. It's going for anywhere from six to almost $800 depending on who you're buying it from uh, so it's not a cheap figure and so like I said I was unfortunately on offer up early this morning I was like nobody ever posts anything new this early and stuff but uh, lo and behold uh, there it was first post first listing and for $500 guys so the guy was asking $500 Actually, the same strategy that I had used to get the DX Hot Toys Jack Sparrow where I came in with a stupid low ball offer knowing they were gonna reject it just to get the conversation started guys and sometimes that is the key just get the conversation started uh, so he did ask 500 originally like I said he's going for uh, over 500 on the secondary market it retail for 399 I am picking him up for 300 even guys I cannot believe it uh, after he said no to my 250 offer I came back with a $300 offer and uh, he said no and I said okay uh, it is what it is I kind of just forgot about it and then he messaged me saying he can go to 350 and so I knew from the second that he dropped his price that he was willing to do three we just had to get there and so I was like you know what man I gotta stick firm to my 300 I can't it's within my budget and so he just kind of left me on red and so I messaged him back and I was like yo 300 cash pickup today as soon as you can and so yeah he messaged me back saying when you meet I was like right now dude I'll be there right now uh, unfortunately where he wanted to meet was a little bit further than I wanted uh, and I did have a client at nine o'clock so I had to put the brakes on it and uh, tell him you know can we meet afterwards and I was honestly scared throughout the whole time thinking that he was going to sell it to somebody that offered him maybe four uh, and so I was seriously like shitting bricks the entire time I was working on my client but lo and behold nothing happened he didn't message me saying that he sold it so we are on our way to pick it up right now guys so with that being said guys I will see you once I have it in hand
right, guys, so we have it here secured. $300 later, yes, that one hurt. Uh, but the way I justified it is that I'm already in the market for Chrome Mando. And well, he's 375. So if I'm willing to shell out 375 for Mando, I should be willing to shell out 300 for my idol, the person that I look up to, you know? Uh, I think the only other one six figure that can hold any kind of value next to this figure uh, would be if I got a one six scale Arnold Schwarzenegger figure, but like bodybuilding Arnold Schwarzenegger figure, not, you know, like movie or anything like that. Uh, I think that would be just as high in regards and value for me personally. Uh, but yes, guys, so we have it right here for the bag over because it's kind of a rainy day here in LA. Uh, you know, it's a rare occasion, but it is a little rainy today. But here we have it, this gigantic box. Look at it, it's kind of like the NR Joker, gigantic. And so it is actually a magnetic opening. It comes with this beautiful, beautiful artwork right here with Kobe and then the Black Mamba and unfortunately uh, the years of his life because as we all know unfortunately he tragically passed away in February 2020. I always say you know my I always say I, I wish the pandemic would have hit a month or two sooner. Why? Because everything would have been shut down by March and February he would not have been on that helicopter. There would have been no basketball games. He would have been at home with his daughters, with his wife, relaxing, enjoying retirement. So I always wish that, you know, the pandemic just hit us a month or two sooner so that things would have been shut down by January and he would have been home with his family. That's, ah, oh man, if only, oh, fuck, but... He does come with all his trophies and achievements. It says it comes with every single one of his achievements, but he is missing one. But I guess it's more in regards to his basketball achievements, but he does not come with an Oscar, which uh, you know, would have been a perfect addition to this. Although there is a figure that comes with an Oscar. I can't remember who I saw. It, it's a third party Heath Ledger Joker. It comes with an Oscar. I might have to track one down just to add it to this collection. As you can see, he has all his trophies. Underneath, we do have the figure itself. Brand fucking new. As you can see, the plastic is still on the figure. And like I said, it did retail for $399, guys. Retail price, $399. Secondary market, $600 plus. My price, I paid $300 cash even. So yeah, guys, super happy about that and super happy and excited to add this guy to my collection. He will be front and center in one of the cubes and my detox by himself until I pick up the two pack because I, unfortunately, now that I have one, I have this whole display in my head where this guy's in the middle dunking and I have the two running off to the sides and so, yeah, I will be picking up that two pack off of OfferUp as well, uh, but uh, it is coming from San Francisco, so it's shipping to me, so no video on that one. Uh, but yeah, guys, who would have known that I'd be picking this up today? I surely didn't. Uh, so yeah, guys, with that being said, if you guys are enjoying these OfferUp buy videos, let me know down in the comments below by typing down in the comments below deal finder that way i know you guys are enjoying these videos and you guys want me to continue to put these out so yeah as always shout out and thank you to channel sponsor entertainment earth check out my entertainment earth affiliate link down in the description below to check out all sorts of cool figures get some free shipping and help support the channel with that being said i've been your host jesse the bad Madrigal, aka the buff collector and as always remember guys keep that mamba mentality have a great fucking day